Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today I am going to be showing you a very very simple Easter recipe idea. Now it does only require two ingredients which are pretzels and white chocolate chips and then you can fill them up with whatever you like. So today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make my Easter chocolate nests. So what I have here is two and three quarter cups of pretzels. Now what I have done is I kept breaking them up in, in a measuring cup until I had the right amount. So I took pretzels about, whoops, about this big and I just took them and I broke them in three like that and it gave me something like this. So I kept doing that until I had two and three quarter cups which is what I have in my bowl there. And then we're gonna be using white chocolate chips. Most definitely if you wanna use semi-sweet, dark chocolate chips, whatever you like is totally fine. But I'm just gonna show you how to do it this way and then you can play around with the recipe. So here I have one and a quarter cups of white chocolate chips, which is actually one package of chocolate chips with a total of 226 grams. So about a quarter, one and a quarter cups is what you'll need. And then I have a variety of things. I have some Easter jelly beans, I have some Easter uh, Reese's Pieces eggs, and I have some confetti almonds. So we're also going to be making these in a muffin tin, not greasing them. So just leave, leave the muffin tin as it is, and we can just place it in because they are non-stick, so we won't have a problem. So now we're going to be melting our chocolate. Now there are two choices. You can either melt it in your microwave and give it a stir at every 15 second intervals, or you can do it on a stove top. I have mentioned this many times before. On a double boiler, and you can do that as well. So it's just like a bang marie. So now we're gonna move on to melting our chocolate chips. I'm gonna be melting my chocolate chips in the microwave at 15 second intervals. I'm gonna continuously stir at every 15 seconds. And once I notice there are just very few that need to be melted, I'll just keep mixing it and I won't put it back in the microwave until the remaining are melted because you don't want your chocolate to burn. And as we all know, white chocolate burns very fast so keep an eye on that and I am going to go on to melting my chocolate okay so my chocolate was melting for exactly 1 minute and 15 seconds and if you can see it's perfect after 1 minute and 15 seconds uh, of course I was stopping at every 15 second interval and I was stirring constantly um, after the minute and 15 seconds were up I noticed there was still a few little chunks of white chocolate so I just continuously stirred and they eventually all melted in perfectly as you can see. So now what we're going to do is in a bowl we're going to add in our pretzels okay, and we're going to add in our chocolate. Okay. This is so easy, but it's so much fun, and it's a perfect treat for Easter. Even those of you who don't celebrate Easter, it's still a fun treat to make, a fun treat to make with your kids. Okay. And now we're just gonna mix this all together. Now don't let your white chocolate sit for too long because it will start to harden. Okay, now that we have that done and ready to go, I'm just gonna take my ice cream scoop and I'm gonna scoop a scoopful and I'm gonna put it into my pan and just with the back of my um, scooper, I'm just gonna make a little indent in the middle to kind of make it like a nest so that we can fill them up with our fillings. 
me. Simple as that. On how big you make your uh, chocolate nests it will depend on how many you make mine made nine so it gives in between eight to ten so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refrigerate this for 15 minutes and then we will assemble our chocolate nests okay so after 15 minutes this is what they look like now just remove them with a butter knife go around the edges slowly and you can remove them very easily if you notice after 15 minutes they aren't firm enough to remove then leave them in for an extra 10 minutes and then you should be perfectly fine so i have set aside some different colors to decorate my nest but most definitely do it to your taste I mean, there are endless possibilities of what you can do. And that's it, as simple as that. And look how cute these are. I mean, you can have them and make them for your kids. You can give them as a gift. They're just perfect. And definitely very, very delicious. So that's about it guys, very simple, two ingredient uh, recipe. And I really hope you guys give this a try. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to share the recipe, share it with your friends, share it with your family. And that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see my future videos. And we'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye, everyone.